What's up, YouTube? Robert here to talk to you all about DNF Duel. DNF Duel is a 2D 101 fighting game based on Dungeon Fighters Online from South Korea where you can choose from 16 charming characters each with their own distinct skills and personalities. DNF Duel offers simple commands to do special moves making the barrier of entry very accessible to non-fighting game players while still offering input commands for players who have experience with input based fighting games. DNF Duel Launch Roster of 16 offers a lot of variety in how you can play the game. Each character is unique with their own playstyles. Local mode has a nice amount of content to enjoy, like free battles where you can play against a CPU or couch play with a friend. You also have story mode where you can progress through the main story playing against CPU and learning more about each character's lore. You also have your standard arcade game mode where you can play eight random matches against CPUs. You also have survival mode where you can play against CPUs that get progressively harder, testing your skills and knowledge of the game. DNF of Duel also offers a practice mode where you can further learn characters and also go through the tutorial mode. I do want to take some time to really praise this game's tutorial mode. Uh, not only does it do an extremely great job at showing you how the game works it also tells you about each character trait and gives you uh, a base idea on how to approach the character you're trying to learn the tutorial mode does a really good job at teaching you game mechanics and also forcing you to apply what you learn which is a great way to teach someone a fighting game in my opinion on top of the tutorial tutorial mode it also has a Combo trial teaching you the basic but very effective bread and butter combos to help give you a foundation on what you can do with each character. At first, I wasn't having the best of time with this game because, you know, growing pains of learning a new game, you get frustrated trying to learn combos, trying to figure out how to play against another player, especially in an online game where you have to try to read someone else's mind. That, that can be tough. I found myself being very critical of the game, but once I got that foundation and then understood how the character I'm learning, which I'm playing Hitman, which is a really cool character in my opinion. Once I got those core foundations, I really found myself starting to have fun with the game and really enjoying it. I really encourage people who get into this game, really sit through that tutorial mode and spend some time with it and just really try to understand the game as much as you can. They offer a lot of knowledge into the game, which I was very surprised about. Most fighting games don't do that. You have to go out and learn it yourself, a lot of it. I really found myself really enjoying this game once I figured out how this game works and just kind of accepted the plethora of BS that's in this game. There's a lot of characters that are very strong in the game, which is okay. I feel like that's the route they chose to take, was making every character extremely strong. That's balance. <laughs> took about a week just for me to actually like get acclimated with it and and I feel like I want to keep pressing forward and learning more about the game. The online experience is really good. The rollback net code is always a must in today's fighting games. I feel like every fighting game should have some form of rollback net code. This makes the experience playing against other players who may not have the greatest of internet or maybe they're wired or wireless and it's just not that great. It makes the experience so much more better. As you can see, if you do some of my gameplay I'm playing here, there's not really any encounters that I have where there's lag or anything like that. But for my final notes on this game, it is very fun and aesthetically pretty. The visuals are immaculate, just like Guilty Gear Strive. I feel like they do a really good job Job with the art style how the game looks and how the color palettes play off of each other I think that's really important for a fighting game I think it's really fun game to play I don't feel like I have to take the game too serious or really like do any like intense living just to kind of play against other matchups I feel like once you have that core foundation you can really expound off of that and become a more solid player as you play the game. A couple gripes I do have about the game. Uh, I really do wish that there was an option for either the classic or uh, simple inputs. I really wish there was an option to choose between the two. If you read my article on Street Fighter 6, they're offering kind of a similar situation here where you have the more simple controls. You still offered the classic inputs. And me personally, I have a lot of experience with classic inputs, so that's what I'm going to automatically lean towards. Part of my frustration with this game was with me sometimes dropping certain combos because I'm accidentally doing a simple input and 
in our reality, I did a quarter circle forward and now I'm getting my DP motion, which is, it's okay. It works out sometimes, but if I want to really get like the optimal combo, I really would like to just do input base. So that way I know for a fact that when I'm rolling into my combos, I'm actually hitting my combos. That is my review on DNF Duel. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell so you can know when Megadad videos are going up, guys. I really do appreciate you all. I've been your host, Robert. You guys have a good day, great weekend, peace.